So we've just finished installing our brand new uh, LED. It's a UV filter. It's right underneath the sink right here. So this is now the faucet where we'll get all of our drinking water from our tank. Um, when we're at the dock, we fill with, with dock water. That's municipality water that has uh, treatment chemicals and stuff in it. And so that keeps our whole system clean. When we're out on the ocean, we make water with our water maker. Our water maker is strictly H2O. It filters out sediment, it filters out salt. It's just H2O. So there's nothing to help maintain um, a sterile environment or clean cleanliness inside of our tanks. So over time we may develop uh, something in the lines uh, and in order to keep us safe we installed this filter so that we know that we know we put fresh water into our tank. This will make sure that it's uh, pathogen and bacteria free. So really The water comes up here through our cold, tees off, that continues to our normal faucet up here, so we just get normal water out of there. And then it also tees off, comes through this pre-filter, comes through the UV light, through, this is called a flow restrictor, and that restricts it so it has enough time to, um, I think this is 1.5 liters per minute, um, and if it goes any faster, then it won't adequately kill all the bacteria with the UV light. So that restricts the flow so it has a chance to kill everything and it goes up to our new faucet and then when our new faucet turns on as soon as I connect it to power that's what turns the light on and off inside of here that way that's not always on all the time and this is LED lights so even when it's on it uses very very little power so now I'm going to show you how I went ahead and installed all this enjoy so we've got our I don't even know how to say that Uvia. Anyway, Akuva. Akuva. it is a uh, LED, a UV LED water purification system. So it's got a uh, special faucet that I'll have to install right here. So when you turn the water on, the UV light comes on in this contraption right here. Inside this is LED lights. Uh, water flows in, water flows out, water flows to our spigot. Um, since we're making a lot of our own water, there's not always a great way to decontaminate. Um, so we want to make sure that uh, whatever comes in our tank or could be growing in our tank doesn't get it to us. So we're going to install that underneath the main kitchen sink. And this faucet will be for drinking water or making ice cubes. We'll still use just a normal faucet for cooking and washing hands and stuff like that. So today we're going to go ahead and install that. Uh, This is what was underneath the sink. It was just a basic filter. This is the hull of the boat, the outside, and they had this just glued there. So I'm gonna do a very similar. Um, we're gonna remove this, and we're gonna put a big piece of plywood in there. I'm gonna fiberglass it in, and then everything will mount to that. You don't wanna screw to this, because this will uh, that's the hull of the boat. We don't want to put any holes in the boat. So we're going to put our new block, this guy in here, like that, uh, but we need to clean that area and I'm going to do a little bit of sanding uh, because you got to make sure you got a clean surface to uh, fiberglass to. This is just some acetone, we're going to start with that and then we'll sand. So I'm going to do what's called tabbing in um, with fiberglass. I'm going to take this, it's going to go on like that, resin, epoxy resin on there, and then that'll cure hard and just basically glue this piece of wood to the hole of the boat. Remove 
mixing up our epoxy to do the fiberglass. That's going to go off. Uh, when I say go off, I mean um, it's a chemical reaction that takes place. And uh, will harden. And so that's just a start of getting supported by the board there. And then I'm going to take this big piece I've cut. And we go top to bottom and seal it all in. And then do a couple things. It'll create more bonding surface, give it more strength, and it'll also help keep it uh, waterproof. So, no, we shouldn't get any run. That's also marine grade plywood. So, we just got back from being out for a couple hours. Uh, fiberglass set up. I was actually going to put another glass over the top, but um, I'm actually really, really happy with the way that secured there. So, I'm just going to go with that, and uh, we're going to get this thing mounted and get this project done. So the joys of owning an older boat you got to make things work. So the filter thing that was in here was actually empty. Had any, didn't even have a filter element. Didn't know that. Uh, our plumbing, they stopped making like back in the 80s or 90s. It's um, like the precursor of PEX. So you can't buy fittings or stuff anymore. So luckily the boat owner previously left me a big bunch of uh, these fittings. So um, I think I've found some that we can work with. And then I'll uh, put my new filter system in right here. Spring loaded right there. So, from there it comes out of the filter to our flow restrictor and then flow restrictor to our faucet. So flow restrictor, so then it'll go out of here and up to our new faucet. A special diamond uh, tipped drill bit, full saw.
projects and boat repairs that I'm doing. I have a big list of things to do coming up, so make sure and check in on Tuesdays for that. Also, on Fridays, we put out our family video where we just go over our what we've been up to and how our adventure is progressing. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe and share it with your friends.